Here in Germany, investigators have confirmed they searched a yacht suspected of being used in the sabotage of the Nord Stream gas pipelines last September. They found traces of explosives, but no concrete link to the suspects. The New York Times and German media outlets say intelligence suggests possible Ukrainian involvement in blowing up the pipelines. Kyiv denies it had anything to do with it. European leaders say there is not enough evidence to confirm who might be responsible. Sabotage on the Baltic Sea. After nearly six months, figuring out the culprits behind the attack on the Nord Stream pipelines remains an international whodunit, generating theories, questions, and this oft-repeated sentiment. As long as investigations are ongoing, we cannot draft, draw definitive conclusion. What can I say? Don't jump to conclusions. But no definitive answers on who just yet. Suspicions about the blast overshadow talks about supplying ammunition to Ukraine at a European minister's meeting on Wednesday. That's after German media reported that a group of six, Russian and Ukrainian nationals, used a yacht hired by a Poland-based company to carry out the deep-sea attack. German reports say investigators found traces of explosives on board. I want to point out there's also talk it could have been a so-called false flag operation. That wouldn't be the first time in the history of such events, so I'm wary of jumping to conclusions. Revelations about the origins of the suspected attackers first emerged Tuesday in The New York Times, when it reported U.S. officials have seen new intelligence pointing to a pro-Ukrainian group. The Ukrainian and Russian governments both deny any involvement, with the Kremlin calling the Times report a diversion. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell says last September's sabotage has made one thing crystal clear. We have to be much more vigilant about the resilience of our critical infrastructure. Because what has happened with the Nord Stream 2 may happen tomorrow. They're willing As for the U.S., officials say it has full faith and confidence in the investigation led by Germany, Sweden and Denmark and has no intention of interfering.